Mishle, Proverbs 7. My son, guard my words and lay up my commandments with you. Guard my commandments and live and my Torah as the apple of your eye. Bind them upon your fingers. Write them upon the table of your heart. Say unto wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your kinswoman, that they may guard you from the strange woman, from the stranger which flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn, her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lies in wait at every corner. So she caught him, and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet you, diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of mitzrayim. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of silver with him and will come home at the day of the dark new moon. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goes after her straightway as an ox goes to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till a spear strike through his liver as a bird hastens to the snare and knows not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not your heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to Sheol, going down to the chambers of death.